Yo, it's your boy Sokas TV Millie. I'm back with another one, man. Let's talk about the crypto space, the current sentiment, man. Y'all know I got them videos pumping about the sentiment each and every day. Go check them out. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps the algorithms. We really need it. Let's get into it, man. Two for Tuesday, double up day. How y'all feeling this morning, man? Now, as you can see, there's a lot of money in the stable coins family. 8% right now on the tether dominance only tells us one thing that there is a lot of cash sitting on the sideways sidelines ready to be deployed family and you just got to be prepared and be ready i told y'all what was happening right now within the crypto space man a lot of people moving into cash um a lot of people understand that you know what i'm saying you can't fight the fed but this is it this is it family people are moving in cash not to just frivolously spend cash but a lot of people are smarter these days. I'm talking to investors each and every day at work and people are getting smarter. They understand to buy the dip. They understand to accumulate assets while they're on clearance and family we don't have a better time so even if this thing goes from sixteen thousand down to eight thousand you can use this opportunity right now to start accumulating as you can see right here bitcoin sitting at 16 you got ethereum sitting at around 1200 man come on man and if you go down this list you'll see a lot of different projects like polygonmatic right at that 70 70 cent that we love to see it shiba inu um at the 83 mark you feel me solano 12 bucks just so many projects on sale hedera i can keep going on algorand chronos Dagalon Mars, Flow, 70 cent, Hedera, almost 3 cents. So the opportunity is there. But family, don't pay attention to the noise. Ignore the FUD. Let's talk about this crypto adoption that's happening right before our eyes. You can see right here, look at all of these Bitcoin ATMs being spawned across the United States, man. Say what you want to say about the U.S., but the adoption is happening, man. Over 3,500 3, bitcoin atms in california hell it's 145 in delaware and over 3,000 in florida and texas so again the crypto adoption is happening right before our eyes even when they come out here and say these negative things come out here and spread this fud on stuff like um binance and believe it or not man we need binance floki the official floki page posted this said binance is a clear front runner in pushing for mainstream crypto adoption through superior and easy to use products and standards strategic partnerships a focus on education and embracing regulation family so i'm saying that to say this man we need centralized exchanges to usher in that adoption for all the new clients and new customers that come inside the crypto space and make it real easier and user friendly man so stop the fud understand that there is a place for centralized exchanges man and even vitalik he said man we need adoption but there's three things that could push this adoption to the next level let's cover them right here now the first thing that he said is he said um he said um firstly suggesting that more developments need to be made on a wallet infrastructure to make crypto easier for everyday people to use ensure that it is capable of onboarding billions of users if you can a make a wallet with a that a billion people can use that's a huge opportunity excuse me it's early in the morning i'm over here butchering words secondly buterin said the creation of a hyper inflation resistant and global accessible stablecoin that can withstand all types of conditions both on chain and in the broader macro environment would be revolutionary for the industry now those two points make a lot of sense man we need a wallet um decentralized wallet that's more crypto friendly a lot of people don't like to don't it's not that they don't like they don't know how to use swaps and um it's just a it's just frustrating for new people i know when i was new i was thinking like uh let, should i learn it took me about a couple months to actually willingly want to learn how to use a swap so again man a lot of people just gravitate to centralized exchanges just like they gravitate to banks because of the ease in the user friendly interface but the second one i want to focus on is this stable coin that he's talking about that's hyper inflation resistant that could be huge man especially with the potential inflation uh stagflation and hyperflation that we may be facing 
if the Fed can't get this thing under control. So he said, man, make a stable coin that could actually survive anything. And we've seen so many stable coins, especially the algorithmic ones, um, crash. And uh, hopefully somebody in the next bull run, man, can put the that thinking cap together and come up with a super stable coin. That would be cool. And then lastly, he said... Any technical development that can contribute towards Ethereum taking login powers away from Facebook, Google, and Twitter and other centralized monopolies would ultimately enable Ethereum to capture more market dominance on internet-based applications. So just picture Ethereum being like Google. Instead of logging in into Google, logging in into your favorite app, you're logging in into Ethereum, and that's what they're trying to push here as far as adoption in dominance. So, I mean he made a point all three of these points is pretty cool and i think there is a place for each and every point as far as adoption also here visa is exploring options to allow automatic payments via ethereum wallets without requiring manual manual transaction adoption you know what i'm saying i can't make this up man uh india has the third highest bitcoin adoption in the world receiving 179 billion dollars worth of bitcoin and crypto last year crazy india that's why they tax it at 30 percent and then russia who was trying to ban crypto is set to pass a bill legalizing bitcoin mining and we also see china working to build the biggest metaverse so all of these so-called countries that were against bitcoin we see it all the time we see these flip-flop people in the space one day they're calling bitcoin trash next day they're adopting bitcoin and they want to be so a part of crypto space so man again don't pay attention to what they say watch what they do all right and um, um three points that i didn't cover yesterday because i had a busy day yesterday but let's cover them right now uh nigeria looks to legalize bitcoin use we love to see that grayscale ways return 20 percent of gbdc assets to investors people should ease their mind all right all right they gonna return it okay and last but not least binance us to acquire bankrupt voyager digital assets family so a lot of things happening on the base and foundational level of crypto in the midst of all the negativity the um all the negativity all the contagion in the market etc etc we're still seeing builders build and adoption happening slowly it's the bear market it's not happening as fast as what happened in the bull run but we're seeing adoption happen and that's something i think that we should be happy about in the crypto space um that's all i got for you guys let me know in the comments what is your crypto new year resolution that's how i know you watch to the video to the end it's your boy so guys tv millie i'm out